Hello! Today we will be talking about how you can use UiPath Test Suite to test your workday environment. We will show what it looks like to manage your test environment within Orchestrator and the UiPath Test Manager product. We will be using the UiPath testing activities in order to verify that our functional test cases have been passed successfully. Through UI automation, we will test our workday environment to confirm that from day-to-day -day use or through an upgrade, certain capabilities within Workday are still functioning. In this demo, we'll be showcasing a couple different use cases. These functionalities include logging in, terminating an employee, and raising an employee's compensation. We will be testing that for every action that we can also undo that action as well as testing out functionalities and third-party applications that may be related to workday processes. For example, an employee, once an employee is terminated, they must also be removed from the organization's ERP system. Now we'll transition and take a look at what this looks like with a live demo. Using our Verify Activities in Studio, we have built our test cases out for various functions within Workday. For this first example, we'll show you how you can run test cases directly from UiPath Studio. This test case is an example of a data-driven test case. Studio Pro allows us to import an Excel sheet to be used as testing data. Once the sheet has been loaded in the project, we can select the data from any row in that Excel sheet to use for testing. This is helpful for us to test individual use cases as well as bulk volumes of data. In this example, the robot is testing the process of raising an employee's compensation. This process is done through a variety of click and type activities and the information the robot is using for data entry is coming from that Excel sheet we loaded in as test data. You'll see on the next screen that the process was successful and that the robot has ended this test. We'll now run the second portion of the test that rescinds the pay raise we just allocated. Both of these tests help complete the entire process by testing both completing the action and also undoing the action. Here you'll see the robot log in again as an account with elevated permissions in order to undo the compensation pay raise. Coming up is a screen that confirms the pay raise has been undone. We are using that text as an indicator that the process has completed successfully. We can view the results from any test case like this one or the one we ran prior here in the output pane. The green text indicates we successfully passed our test. Now we'll view our test cases as they appear when published to Orchestrator. In Orchestrator, we have the ability to create test sets that group specific test cases together. This allows us to test more effectively. For example, here you're seeing two test cases that test different logins depending on user permissions. For this test set, we have two test cases that are testing the ability for different user roles to log in a workday. Since this test set has two test cases included inside, it needs all of its test cases to pass in order to be considered a passing test set. Now we'll run another test set that contains test cases related to terminating an employee. The other thing to note is for each test set, you can view details about each test case's run in Orchestrator or in Test Manager. This test set is comprised of three different test cases. The first test case checks to see if a manager is able to submit a termination request. The second test case checks that once a termination request is submitted, the department head is able to approve that request. And lastly, the final test checks to see if once the termination is approved, can the decision be reversed within a workday and the termination rescinded. In these tests, we are using the final messages on the last page of the process to determine if the robot was successful. Throughout the process, we can also build out other checks along the way. 
looking for different test criteria such as error messages, new browser windows, or the presence or absence of different buttons. Once the process is complete, we can see that all of our test cases pass as denoted by Orchestrator. This last test that we're running showcases our third-party integration with SAP. The idea behind this test is that once a user is terminated, they also need to be blocked within an ERP system. And as with most tests, we are also checking to see that once we've blocked the user, that we're also able to unblock them. It's important to note that we manually kicked off all of these test cases. In reality, you can schedule these tests to run on a cadence through Orchestrator. Lastly, we're taking a look at Test Manager to view the results of our runs through Orchestrator. We can also review our test cases as well as our test case requirements within Test Manager. Thank you for your time.